the last time we um, re finished a it was a weedless uh, spoon um, and we took it from uh, crapped out all marred up and pretty much ruined finish polished it out turned it to chrome took it from chrome to gold and uh, came, gave it a brand new life so uh, what I wanted to do is use this finish which is essentially plain chrome I put a clear coat on it to protect it and we're gonna go through a series of different paint schemes using transparent bait transparent paints uh, to show you the kinds of uh, different effects you can get so let's get started Use the the crappy camera setup, but uh, hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing. So what I'm going to try to do is utilize these uh, transparent paints to create different effects and to show you how nice it is to have a reflective background for your paints. And then we'll get started here. I've got the the, the rainbow here, almost right, Roy G. Biv. Uh, what I want to do first is go ahead and, and um, show what kind of metallic look you can get. And so the two besides, obviously it's already chrome. So from here I can go to gold. I've shown that in a different a video, but in case you hadn't seen it. And the other side in copper. And the copper, I'll show you how that gets done too. You can go from very cool looking, uh, flashy, exotic looking colors to almost natural kind of a... Uh, uh, imitating a natural bait fish to, to create a gold-like effect on chrome uh, I use this and this is basically a Kratex paint it's a transparent sunrise yellow what we'll do is we'll put a couple of layers of this and what I'm gonna do is just go down the center of it and allow it to to be heavily painted in the middle and sort of oversprayed on the on the top and bottom so I'm gonna go ahead and give this couple of just gentle coats okay I'm just gonna get it dry enough so I can get the next coat on I'm gonna give it a little more even though it's got a pretty good gold effect already Right, so, and even without a clear coat on top of it, you can see that it is gold. And it, and you can see, especially right where I really put the dents. Now what I want to do is go to, how did I mess up my paints? Alright, I'm going to go to orange now. You would think it'd just turn into like a candy apple look, but it actually ends up looking very much like copper, kind of like a weird sort of deep brass copper kind of effect, kind of like a polished co uh, copper pot. I'm going to concentrate the paint on the center of the body and we'll go from there. goes like a brassy copper kind of cool you can overdo it you can definitely put a little too much on there and have it go uh, a little more opaque on you but you can see that the, the shine from the brass I'm sorry from the chrome comes through from here you could do a lot of other things right you could put a little bit of a uh, yellow or white on the bottom with a little bit of bleeding gills a little darker color on top maybe a blue but uh I'm going to show you how you can fade in other colors to give it a, a, an interesting effect. And that'll give me that bleeding gills, kind of a red chin kind of thing. I still have it showed up. So I'm hoping that really shows up. You can see that combination looks really nice. 
makes a little green in there, which seems odd, but actually has a kind of an interesting effect. Do a little bit of a, of a scale effect. That should do it. I just want to give a little bit of a, of a green halo here. So if you look, you can see that that effect, and you, all the way through it, you can see the, the the way the chrome just flashes through. And I, I can kind of give this a little more intensity as it moves on the top, and you can really see that's a really nice pattern, real easy to do. And you get that candle, candy apple effect on top. Well, so that's a nice effect. What I want to do next, I want to show you how you can now, hold on a minute, go to this, this is like the two-faced lure here. Uh, I can turn this into a really nice kind of a sexy shad color. I've already got my deep yellow. I can go, oh, gee whiz, that was dumb. Don't shake your paint without the lid being closed. Alright, so just a couple drops all over my hand. But I wanted to show this just to show you the um, how different opaque looks. And so I want to just go kind of go across the body. With that opaque paint how very different that is, right? What a completely different effect that is. How it blocks out everything. That should do it. All right, so now I'm gonna go transparent blue. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is the same thing I did with the green. I'm gonna layer it in from the top down. Sort of overspray effect. Get a sense. Get a sense for the for the mix of paint. Let's get a little more on top. And you can see the cool thing about having a, a, a light coat on the um, on those scale effects is as you add blue, those get darker faster, right? Because you can never never even they never even out and you get a really cool sexy shad effect kind of a disco shad okay. see that and there there's that this is a little less of a natural look this is nice but you can then um let me show you what red does And I'm gonna put a little bit on the on the tail here, just to show you how it really does does go candy apple. You can see how fast and sloppy I'm working, and it's still kind of a nice finish. So the point here is that starting off with a chrome base is really beautiful. I mean, it just creates this ability to go almost holographic by layering paints um, you, you maintain a lot of flash and look at that red I don't know how well you can see that but it, it really goes candy apple really neat which kind of gives it a little menacing look it actually enlarges the eye a little bit I like 
So you can create like a lateral line and then this becomes very much like a like a baby baby bath effect okay and then you can all the time you're maintaining a real nice flash you don't cover up that flash you get that kind of a, this is a much more natural looking uh, paint effect natural-esque right it's not exactly you know not too many chrome fish out there but the flash is what you're looking for also up in this guy a little bit of a with a little black Side. And that's all. I like the halo a little bit around the eye. Looks pretty cool, a little green. And there you go. You can go to any lure parts place online and uh, pick up a, a blank with no paint on it of whatever kind of lure you want and try to get it chrome you can really have some fun. Thanks. Hope this helps somebody. Now to take this stuff off. Ew. What a mess.